Hi guys, so this morning I'm going to be making my thank you cards for Close My Heart, uh, the people who ordered through my vnacreates.ctmh.com website. It's very early in the morning and I'm hoping Miranda stays asleep, so I'll probably talk you through the technical part and then just kind of put some music over the um, other portions. So the card looks something like this. And um, it'll be a little bit different because this paper is not close to my heart paper where all of the colonial white is. So it's going to have a little aperture opening with the little um, Punny Pals characters sitting there cut into this front window. And then in the back, we're going to color in a little scene. So really easy. Actually, it looks complicated, but it's so easy. Uh, people have been doing it for years, and it's just called like partial die cutting. And you could do that even just to make like a flip card, you know, use like a butterfly shape or something only cut part way into your paper and you can fold it back, things like that. So um, the Punny Pal set, which I've mentioned before, is the um, Close to My Heart's Operation Smile charity set. So for every one sold, they will give $7 to Operation Smile. And it's Punny Pals. This is available all year long. And today I'll be using my little bear here. And um, he has, you're the very best and I miss you very much. So I'm going to go with you're the very best. And then I'm probably on the inside of the card, I'll uh, have a thank you sentiment. So it's D1751. But this month, Close to My Heart is offering a whole um, card set, which I already did a couple tutorial or a tutorial on, so that's already passed. But what I did was I took the thin cuts from that card set, the Punny Pals thin cuts, and I put it in here so they're stored together. Um, you can buy these on their own throughout October, and then they're not going to be available again. So if you do want the thin cuts to go along with all these cute 13 little guys, you want to grab them this month. Um, they are sold by themselves. They're sold in a kit, um, the Share a Smile card kit. So if you're interested in that, you can grab both of them together and get a discount that way. Um, I'm also using a few different stamps, as you can see in this background. And <laughs> the little dipper, when I went to stamp that, I thought, is he facing downward? I, you know, I, I'm not good at this stuff, so I'm not sure if it faces a certain way. Sorry. But that little dipper and the stars I got from this set is called um, Constellations Essentials. Oh, it's called Constellations from the Essentials um, group of stamps is what they call them. But So D1742, and this has some background, and it has some single ones, but I use this background one, and I use the little dipper. I'll probably use other ones just to mix it up um, for my tutorials for my different cards. For the mountains, I use this um, set, Camping Life. D1719. I'm not sure if this is still available because it was from the last uh, catalog, the last seasonal catalog, but I used the little mountains, or the big mountains actually. I pulled these to show you that this has also the cute star background that you could use. This is Birthday Princess C1631, and this is an adorable stamp set, but it also has little stars that you could use. Um, I'm going to probably use the thank you from this here, A1192 Happy Heart. It has some different sentiments. And even this month, um, Cats and Bats card making, uh, C 1683 has different stars that you can also, even a little moon, which would be really cute. Um, so if you didn't just use it for Halloween, you have other things that you could use it for other ways. So I just got that out. So the technical stuff. All right, we need... So what I have been noticing is a lot of times when people make these, they have white paper on a white card. So I thought, well, let's do something a little bit different. So I have my colonial white card front, and this is cut down, I'm so sorry about that lighting, at five and a half by four. So this is five and a half by four inches to fit on a standard A2 card. And then I have a colonial white card base, oopsie, that I will score and fold right down the middle. So this is your regular five and a half by eight and a half piece of paper that you're just gonna fold in half, okay? So I'm gonna do that off the, um, oh, sorry about that, off camera, because it's very basic. The different colors I used here um, was for inks. I used vanilla cream. Now, they don't carry vanilla cream anymore. It's a really thick kind of, more of a pigment, yeah, pigment-based ink. Um, that's why the texture is a little bit different of this ink. And they do still have pigment inks, and you might be able to get vanilla cream in the little sets. They're like $20 for, a set of however many, um, 10, I think, like minis. Um, but you can also use White Daisy. White Daisy is similar again, it's a pigment ink. And hopefully you can kind of see the little stars. They're kind of a yellowish color. And how cute would that be to let, like, ooh, I don't know if they have glow in the dark powder, but for sure um, embossing powder, something like that. For the blue background, I used um, Indian Corn Blue and Midnight Denim. Of course, I'm not sure if they still carry all these colors, but these are the ones that I used. Of course, dark blue and a light blue is basically what we're looking for. And the very base, you can see the foreground here, is um, 
New England Ivy. And I was going to mix it up with some other colors, but it's so small. It, New England Ivy by itself did great. And then we need um, a black ink. And I just used Close My Heart's black, which has been well loved. Look at that. Super old and still works. Uh, my black for the mountains here. And then I used um, oh, chocolate to stamp the sentiment down here. Um, for the little bear, I did use Memento ink to stamp him because we were gonna color it with uh, markers. So I'll be using Spectrum Noir markers. And these are the Spectrum Noir markers here. And they are colors TN8 and TN7. TN7 is most of the little body of the bear. The TN8 is for like the shadows. PP5, I just colored his little ears in pink. And then the very light TN2 is for his little tummy and muzzle. Okay. I also use the darkest TN8 for his nose. I guess you can color a different color, but that's what I went with. Um, you also need like a sponge. And what I wanted to show you guys, this is how I normally, whenever I get close to 50 bucks and I want to get my stamp of the month, um, I order a sponge, super inexpensive. I think they're like $1.25. And all I do is I take it and I literally just cut it with scissors in a wedge. So I just cut into it. Like now it's already cut a piece of it. So I'll just cut this piece off. And that's how I use a wedge for um, doing my uh, background or sponging, whatever, however it is you want to use it for, distressing. Um, I am using a few different uh, blocks, a three inch block and a two inch block. And okay, so as far as this little aperture here, we're gonna be using the little bear shape, of course, because we need that. So I'll be grabbing the bear shape. Where is he right here? And we need a, a circle or whatever size, a square, whatever it is that you want to use. I, you know what? It's so funny. Through all of the dies that I have from Spellbinders, from Sizzix, from Lifestyle Crafts, which doesn't really make them anymore, um, you know, Cricut, all these different, I do not have a nesting circle one. Well, I do have one set from, I think, Lifestyle Crafts, but they're scalloped. Everything is scalloped. So this is the only one that I found that was kind of basic, still has a scallop, but the other ones were like scalloped where they have like a lace cut out this other area. I don't even know how to explain it. So I was just like, no, that's not gonna work. So that's so funny. So I need to get some scallop circles. So I have this one, I think I got from AliExpress and um, it works. So it's like a three and a quarter inch circle. So um, that's what I'm using. So we're gonna be using this and the other little guy. So, Really quickly, another prep item before I get started that I might have to explain is this background here. After I stamped my mountains, I just eyeballed all this, but I'll probably show you guys how to measure it first. That way you can get you know the same card, same consistency. I just grabbed a note card like this, and whatever ink was still left on my mountain after I stamped it here, I just stamped it on this note card, and then I cut it out. So I'm using the note card as a and I'm not showing that just because it takes time and I literally just cut it right, right, right on the lines of the mountain. And I use this as a um, shield, as a little cover for when I did the distressing all around or the coloring all around it, okay? So we'll talk about that in a minute, but that, when you see that, you'll know that's what I did. So that's how I got that. I didn't glue it down, I just held it down. And um, okay, so let's get started on the technical part as far as the front. So, okay, so I have my colonial white piece of paper and I just wanted to clear things out from here. So I measured kind of how far up I put this little bear because I eyeballed this and I really like the way it came out. So he's about an inch and a quarter from the bottom of my paper. So I'm gonna measure an inch and a quarter up. So there's four or five blocks there. Hopefully my straight edge will get in here without messing up. It does, okay, there we go. Cause my uh, tripod's right in front of me. So one, two, three, four, five. So right here, I'm just gonna draw a line very faintly. I didn't do this before, but I'll do it now just so you guys can have an idea of how to do this. So I have a very faint line there. I think you can see it. Sorry about that shadow coming off the tripod. Ugh. Oh well. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is take my little guy. I'm gonna mount him over here on this guy. Just so you know, I don't know if you can see the shape of this. I love the way close my heart makes it so you can grip it, but it also has a very flat edge and this one's kind of rounded. It doesn't really make a difference, but to me that means this is the bottom edge. That's the top or surface, should I say. So I'm gonna take my memento, ink this little guy up. And again, I'm just eyeballing this so that he's basically on that line 
like his little legs are going to be um, a little bit lower than that line. And then right in the middle. That's pretty good. I could have stamped them a little bit better, but since the ink that I'm using is so dark, it's not going to... Um, you're not gonna notice that like it's a little bit faint right there. Also, um, since this is colonial white and his eyes aren't like, and there's no white portion to his eyes, it's easy to stamp on this and color on this and it won't make it look like, oh, he's kinda, you know what I'm saying? It just worked really well instead of just using, having to use white paper. So I have the little guy there. So now what I'm gonna do is take his little shape and I'm gonna put it right on him. So I pretty much stamped his little legs right on the line, just kind of a little bit lower than the line, but just there, okay? So what we're gonna do next is take a piece of washi tape or whatever you wanna use, and hold him down. And I'm gonna bring over my cuddle bug, and this is where the magic happens. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my cuddle bug here. I'm gonna be using the A plate, or rubber mat, B plate. You can use, instead of the B plate and the rubber mat, C plate. And I'm gonna put my little card down. And with another B plate, I'm gonna line the plate up so that it's just lined up right on that line. Right on the line that I had drawn, okay? So basically wherever there's pressure, it's gonna cut there. Where there's no pressure, it's not gonna cut. So that's it. So I'm just gonna run this through here. Kinda like those diffusers. Let me make sure I line that up again. <clears throat> Excuse me, oops, sorry. And just let it go. And you hear that pop because it's where it releases from having cut and not cutting. So I'm gonna oopsie. I'm gonna remove this. And then you'll see that you have like a partially cut out guy. And then there's not even a pressure line or anything, so you can't even tell. It's just really nice. So there's that. Now we're gonna take that circle if I could find it. <laughs> I start scattering things to the winds and then I can't find stuff. Oh, the circle already has a piece of washi on it. And since this one's scalloped, I'm paying attention to the edge of the scallop because that's what it cuts and then it does a little stitching. So I'm going to eyeball this so that, so that it makes sense. Like wherever that scallop ends, basically I'm trying to line it up with that line, but also with where he's cut out. Does that make sense? So see how if that scallop cuts right there, that's perfect. And if this one cuts here, that's okay too. So I'm just trying to play with it until I'm happy with where that scallop is gonna cut. That's okay. And also make sure your side to side, left and right is even. So I'm gonna stick that down. And again, just place it on here. So this is, I'm telling you, this is the easiest part. Since Miranda's not waking up, maybe I can, well, we'll see <laughs> how much I can talk on the video here. So again, we're gonna put this in here. We're gonna line that up right on the line. And pop it through. Sorry, I had to move it as I was going because I start hitting the tripod. So I'm sorry. And again, it just kind of pops. And now this piece will want to come out. And if it's just kind of stuck a little bit, you can just use scissors to cut or just kind of do that. Oh. And there it is, our cute little window with our little guy. And then we're just gonna erase this, okay? So when I come back, I'll have erased that with pencil, just uh, with pencil, with an eraser. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my card base here, folded in half, and I got my little topper. And what I like to do is kind of eyeball this, just to have an idea of where I need to stamp my mountains. And I want them to be kind of behind him. So I'm gonna take my mountains, and I'm gonna ink them up in black ink, but let me just get this on my... You know, I was trying to see if this was big enough. Yeah, I had put it at an angle, because, um, it's a big stamp, <laughs> so there's that. Still has some stickiness on him, but that's okay. So I'm gonna take my black ink. And I kind of remember where my little guy is at, and I want the mountains to be. Where's my, oh, so I tell you, I start crafting and I don't know where I put the original. It's somewhere in here somewhere. <laughs> so anyway, so I want the mountains to be like there, you know? So if I pay attention to that, I'll just stamp it like in this area. So I'm gonna ink this up really well. And since it's mountains and it's fun, it doesn't really have to be any certain spot. 
you know, they can be higher, they can be lower, it's okay. <clears throat> I'm just pushing down because there's a lot of ink on this guy. Sorry about that, I have like a little tickle in my throat this morning. Must be allergies. Okay, so when you come back to compare, see he's just right there and that's cute. All right, so for the green foreground, I'm just using New England Ivy and I did not cover it for this part because I'm just taking my sponge and dipping it in here because I didn't mind. So I pretty much know to focus like in this area. And I like how the sponge kind of gives it texture. So I'm not doing too, too much, just enough to cover up that little area. And if you want a little bit darker, you can do that, of course. So add a little bit more here. Okay. And you don't want to get it too far over the sides because then you're going to see that. So that's all I'm doing for that. Wow, Miranda's still asleep. I don't know how much longer. So now I'm going to take my little shield here and just lining it up. I'm going to take my Indian corn blue and let me open up midnight. I'm sorry, outdoor denim. Also, there's midnight, so I think the new one for outdoor denim. But anyway, I'm going to dip into the lighter one. And I'm just holding this down. And I'm working up, so I'm not messing with the paper, so I'm just kind of sponging, but I'm gonna sponge in an upward motion, so I'm not pushing the paper down and away. And then I'm gonna dip in some outdoor denim too, add a little bit of that. And then I'll give it a little look-see. So pretty. And that's pretty good, but I'm gonna put a little bit more up on the top up in this area. Okay, so that gives it some texture. And then I'm gonna come in with my vanilla cream and different, and if you're very good at astronomy, then you can, you know, put these guys the way they should be. <laughs> I'm like, hmm, how should this one face? I don't know, let's just stamp it. So I'm gonna take off my little character here. And let's do this guy. And when I say this guy, it's because I don't know his name. But I'm sure somebody here will let me know. So I'm gonna dip in the vanilla cream. I can't believe I'm almost done. Miranda's still asleep, guys, this is great. Okay, so I'm gonna dip into my vanilla cream here. And of course, I'm only adding one of this guy because it's not like he's all over, like stars would be. How cute is that? I love it. I love it because it's such a subtle effect. And look how creamy this stuff is, like seriously. Very, very creamy pigment ink and then I'm going to take the little spray and again you can use a bunch of the little tiny ones or ones from other sets and let's say it's Ursa Major and no, I'm just kidding I don't know anything about that <laughs> all right um, you can cover up your mountains again especially if you want to give it more of a natural look so as you're stamping some will stamp off onto the sides and things just add stamps here and there Ooh. I think that's over on the side enough, and maybe this should come down here. Okay. That's pretty good. This stuff does take a long time to dry, so if you want to hit it with a um, heat tool, I think that would be smart, because it just takes a really long time to dry. And I don't want to smear it, but I'm gonna leave it alone for right now. And then we're gonna bring our little guy over, and I'm gonna color him in. So, um, really basic. Like I said, I'm gonna use a few colors. And like I always say, I'm not the best color -er. So what I'm gonna do, well, I'm just gonna color in the little pink in the ears, just to make that easy. And then start with the dark brown. Oop. Let's go around the ears just cause. And then bring in that lighter brown and kind of start wherever I had shadow like that and a circular motion color in our little guy. And going around the muzzle as gently as I can. I don't wanna mess that up. And then I did color in his nose with a dark TN8. And I'll do the same thing with the rest of his body, the way I colored that, like dark color and then lighter. And then I'll bring in this tan or TN2. And I'll color in just his little muzzle. And his little tummy center. 
Okay, and I'll be right back once I have that all colored in. Okay, so he's all done, and I'm gonna take my um, You're the Very Best sentiment. I'm just gonna put it on here. I should put it straight, but you know what? I'm gonna put it down real quick and let it relax. I'm gonna pick it up with this. I think I noticed when I did my mock-up when it was a little bit um, angled. So let's make sure we have your, okay. And I'm just going to ink that up in my chocolate ink and stamp it right under his little body. And it's basically perfect right there. Okay, so there's the front of my card. And we can take the inside and we can stamp the thank you right now or whatever you like, but I'm gonna let this dry. So I'll stamp inside uh, with my thank you sentiment, okay? So right now, uh, all we're gonna do is take this guy and pop them up on some pop dots over the front of our card. And that's my thank you card for the month of October. So thank you guys. Uh, many people picking up these sets. Uh, like I said, it's the only time you're gonna get the thin cuts if you want them and then to support the charity there um, in this way. And I'm just gonna take some dimensionals and bigger ones better because this is a big surface that you want to pop up. But I'm just putting these on the back of the card all over and I have some smaller ones that can go on these side pieces here. So let's put those three and then I have some smaller ones. These are from, um, what's that place called? Diamond Press. They had sent these in for review and they're very good. So, and they're really high. <laughs> they are very dimensional. So I'm gonna take all the little sticker backs off of these guys. It's gonna take a second. And then I'm just gonna place it right on top of my card. So I'll have pictures for you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this little scenery and um, thank you everyone who orders uh, through my site. Again, I'll have the links there for you. Pick these guys up this month. They're not gonna be there anymore. The stamp will, but not the, um, the little thin cuts for them. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.